Yeah, yeah. as opposed to the process and it's really you know, flank yeah, facing. Uh, I guess from my perspective, it's all about you know how do we take these two frame of mind mm -hmm. and go forward, right? Yeah. And I think I like to elaborate on a few things that is relatively new in this in, in this discussion. So as a recap. That's what Ben said, you know, what, what Smart Nation is all about, empowering your citizens to enrich their own lives, to, you know, to be able to provide seamless transactions, and to be able to be fulfilling and to improving their day-to-day -day activities through technology, right? So that's what, that's what it is, basically. And, and Smart Nation is all about everything's connected. You have data analytics to, to correlate everything and make sure that's what's relevant to you and it's providing the seamless transactions. And all this smart nation, we talk about yeah, the IoT. But I think we didn't really touch on is the operational technology stuff, SCADA, industrial control systems. These are the, the connected devices that will be connected in smart nations, you know, the water utilities, the, the cars, etc. So, and to enable smart nation, uh, our Singapore CSA has said, you know, cybersecurity is the key factor in enabling that success. But what's stopping the success? It's the bloody side of crime, right? Mm -hmm. It's not about the known factors. It's all, it's all about protecting against the zero day. Hence, all the technologies in, in security now is relying on AI, machine learning, Dr. Watson. Oh, it's not a doctor. It's, it's Watson, right? Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, it's not stigma. Yeah. It's not <laughs> um, Skynet, you know, it's all about the ability <laughs> for Skynet to learn what are the threats that hasn't happened yet and people don't know. It's the unknown zero day stuff. And it's not about technology. Everyone's exploiting the root cause of all evil, which is humans, mm -hmm. right? It's not about protect and control. It's all about waiting for shit to hit the fan. Mm -hmm. And what do you do when that happens? It's all about incident response mm -hmm. and breach management, you know, because everything, especially with smart nations, it's going to be large scale. It's going to be very impactful. That's what we've heard a few examples. And as such, cybercrime is all about maintaining a response factor. We've seen all these statistics. I won't go into too much detail. <laughs> but I think the left side says, you know, if you're not hacked yet, you will be hacked soon. Is it you know it or you don't? Right? <laughs> I highlight the ransomware because that's of all things that's the probably the most one of the most profitable way for criminals to cash in, right? Mm -hmm. And when we talk about IoT, this is a very nice um, cartoon. I don't know whether you've seen it, but you know <laughs> everything's going to be ransomized going forward. You know, you're hungry, give me some money, and I'll open the micro microwave for you. <laughs> Gosh, I need something cold. <laughs> For you to unlock the fridge, give me some money and I'll unencrypt it for you. So these are just some examples of where things can go to such an extreme. Sounds like what my wife would say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually like the broom because I can see people doing that. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, which, which broom doing the robot one? Yeah. yeah. This is exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then the, the cameras, things listening to you 24 by 7, you know, if you want to turn off the microphone, you want to pay something. It's going to be as simple as that. So you don't need to break into someone's house anymore. You just, you know, take over one of these uh, smart things. You know, we talk about people being the, the weakest link. I mean, these are just like one example that I've seen of people <laughs> who are targeted for, for phishing attempts. You know, people know that they use Uber. And if I'm using Uber and this figure is something that's, <laughs> oh, that's I, I can't spend that much, let me click on that. Oh shit, you know, you're infected. So these are just some examples of what did happen from a, from a human perspective. Let me touch on about operational technology, SCADA stuff. These are, you know, your control systems, the, the engineering, turning the wheel on and off. I believe OT is where IT was 25 years ago, where functionality, takes priority over security, which a lot of you guys mentioned. It's you know, it's all about functionality. I need it on or off. I need the water up or down, right? And and that's what it is. So you've seen the DDoS attacks and all that, the people being, uh, all the internet of things being compromised. It's because they have weak passwords, default passwords, default accounts. And these are the type of things that we knew about in IT security back, back then, right? And back then, 
all these things happen because of, there's a lack of guidance. You know, people won't know things about SCADA because it's so specific to, say, Siemens, uh, the manufacturer of Bosch or whatever, that they know, that people won't know what, what's the operating system or that environment because it's so built, but it's not like that, it's not security. So that's, that's what we are. And that we kind of thought to do. Still want to trade on one one or whatever. Windows. Yeah, Windows three point one one. Back MS DOS. Yeah. Yeah. So as what uh, Jim mentioned, it's it's coming back to the very same concept of security. The fundamentals doesn't change. It's getting back to understanding your threat landscape, doing your asset classification, risk management, putting the protect and defend with with your sim. User awareness, breach management, and improve. That's the life cycle. You know, you, we've seen this as professionals for the last <laughs> 20 years. And it's, as what Ben said, you know, it's not just with the government, it's, it's a community of people doing the same uh, responsibility and taking care of that responsibility. You know, so all this Internet of Things is just about proliferation of the endpoints. Not only you have thousands, now you have millions, one to seven ratio. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And you're going to have multiple operators, whether it's the utilities, you know, the SCADA operators, the ICS, that it's going to be connected. It's been suggested that, you know, by 2020, the annual data that's being generated is going to be 44 times more than what it is in 2009. So from an investigator perspective, you're going to have to dig through all that shit <laughs> and find out from an analytics perspective what's going to be relevant to this particular investigation or not, right? My goodness. And we've seen before privacy concerns, because everyone's going to be connected, everyone's going to have a digital ID, healthcare, insurance, privacy concerns. So what, what to expect, you know, it's, it's, there's going to be a lot more than what we've seen so far. Because of IoT and the ratio that's going to keep increasing, it's going to be the preferred tool for mayhem. It's already, we've already seen that from a country perspective, from a uh, DNS perspective, it's going to get a lot more and it's just testing the waters, you know. Um, I think from, from a maturity perspective, there's going to be industry vendors that's going to uh, promote certification, uh, put some guidance in place. Remember, OT is 25 years ago. We're going to do the same thing that IT did now for, for, for IoT, putting some sort of internet guidelines in place. There's going to be a lot of new technology on wireless stuff, you know, because Everything's going to be wired. Nothing's going to be connected wired anymore. Um, IoT healthcare, that's what we've seen. Every it sensors everywhere is going to be super connected. But are we on an overload of IoT? You know, do we need to have the smart toilet paper? Do we need to do it? Really? Yeah. Come on. Smart toilet, smart water bottle. Maybe we, we're doing things a bit too much in terms of connected everything. So. We should question ourselves, are we overdoing it? I saw a quote from, <laughs> from Jurassic Park, yeah. you know, the, the film, yeah. where the guy was saying, your scientists were so, so enthralled <coughs> with could they do it, they mm. never stopped to ask the question, what should they do it? Yeah. And that that prevails all the way through. You know? we, we're just getting smart people going, well, look at this what I can throw into the world without realising, yeah. What's yeah, going to come next? Exactly. We, we can't go backwards. We can only go forward. We can't stop the wheel going forward. So we just have to help guide it properly. And I think the industry will, will get to that. Um, and, so, you know, and for us professionals in the investigation side, yeah, it's just going to get a lot more complex. Scale, Scale is going to be huge. And, it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, and the depth of data that you have to go through. So that's my 10 minutes, which is a recap of everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> Plus the operational technology stuff. So yeah, we'll have a Q&A now. Yes. Yeah. Awesome.